Five years of tax scandals, of revelations, starting with LuxLeaks, we thought we'd reached a climax with the Panama Papers, only to discover the shocking news later with the Paradise Papers and Comex files. The SND was a key actor in the investigation into the tax scandals. Here's our story of this mandate's fight for tax justice. It's a story of loopholes appearing as soon as the old ones are filled, of an outdated EU law system always lagging behind bankers and intermediaries innovations. Shocked by the scale of the tax evasion and tax fraud that has been going on for years, the SND took the initiative. As a result, the European Parliament set up a series of committees to investigate tax crimes in Europe. In the latest committee, Tax 3, all forms of tax avoidance were addressed – evasion, fraud and financial criminality. The loss for national budgets is huge – 825 billion euros every year which could be used to finance infrastructure in health, transport or the ecological transition essential to citizens. Big corporations, ultra-rich people they are not paying their fair taxes, they are hiding their fortune away in tax havens, they are costing big economic loss to our societies because they are not paying taxes. What the tax committees do is to, to find ways to stop the race to the bottom and make everyone pay their fair share. Somehow it's a to-do list for the ministers, for the member states, for the governments to follow what we reach as European parliamentarians. Governments argue they don't have money. Well. They don't have money because they are letting the money go abroad into tax havens because they don't actually take measures to indeed ensure tax sovereignty at the European level. Among the variety of illegal practices being described in the report, one fact may alone describe how vital a reform of tax law has become. If the same criteria for exotic tax havens are applied to member states, the EU still counts five – Malta, Cyprus, Ireland, Luxembourg and the Netherlands. Tax dumping absolutely violates and distorts fair competition within the internal market. In order to counter-attack, Tax Free defines a clear and concrete course of action. Companies should pay their taxes where they make their profits, in a public and transparent way. Money laundering should be dealt with seriously to discover where the money is hidden. Free ports, where works of arts and precious goods are hidden, should be forbidden. A harmonisation of the VAT system should be undertaken to prevent the loss of 50 billion euros per year to organised crime and terrorists. Also, a digital tax should be set up on revenues derived from advertisements from tech giants like Facebook and Google. We need something like a joint base concerning the whole definition of corporate taxes within the European Union. So somehow something that is consolidated. Since the beginning of the legislature, with Pierre Moscovici in the Commission, the SNDs have had a natural ally to push for their agenda. Yet the Council, where the tax law is voted on unanimously, has blocked progress on key issues. The SND and Commissioner Pierre Moscovici call for the installation of qualified majority voting on tax issues. The Conseil represents the diversity of our state members. The Conseil represents also their differences. And there is a question of sovereignty fiscal, which sometimes turns to nationalism fiscal. It's a question of really de survie, d'attractivité, de compétitivité, de création d'emplois, de cohésion sociale. Et c'est aussi une demande de l'opinion publique qui est extrêmement forte. Tax 3 has finally been adopted by a very large majority. Yet some elements, such as a minimum effective corporate tax rate of 18%, was voted down by the Conservatives. Souvent, la droite revient avec des arguments sur euh, euh, le champ d'application, sur euh, des dérogations, vous voyez Donc on se met d'accord sur le grand principe et puis après on regrignote comme un petit fromage. Ils vont changer les règles du jeu, changer de paradigme et euh, soyons-en fiers, les socialistes, les démocrates euh, sont au premier plan évidemment de ce combat. If the ministers would put all these demands of us parliamentarians, of us from the Socialists and Democrats, into practice, this would be a revolution of tax justice. So somehow, let's go for that, we have the lead. The fight for tax justice continues for the SND in order to have everyone pay their fair share of taxes.